One of the most common concerns we hear from customers and colleagues is that they aren't confident when ordering custom primers and oligos because they aren't sure which parameters to select. This video series presents expert tips for ordering custom oligonucleotides so you can feel confident with your next RNA or DNA oligo design. One of the first questions when ordering an oligo is, what synthesis scale do you want to use? So what does that mean? A synthesis scale refers to the amount of starting material that will be used in manufacturing. This number will not be the same as the final yield or product that you receive. I like to describe it like making lemonade. You may start with five pounds of lemons, but you don't end up with five pounds of lemon juice. So the synthesis scale is a well-defined amount of how much of the components will be put into the reaction. However, the yield will depend on the details of the oligo, primarily length, modifications, purification, and synthesis chemistry. Let's go through some examples of what yield you might get from the different synthesis scales. These examples will be based on using 2' ace chemistry. First, let's talk length. The most common length of oligos are between 6 and 28 bases long. A typical RNA oligo of this length has a multiplier of 0.7. That means if you ordered a 1 micromole synthesis scale, we'd expect a final yield of about 700 nanomole. The longer the oligo is, the lower the expected yield. Some modifications can also decrease the yield. Let's take a common modification example of a biotin on the five prime end of the oligo. This has a multiplier of 0.85, so we'd expect a final yield of about 595 nanomole. Purification is the third primary parameter that affects yield. For example, page purification often has a 0.5 multiplier, meaning our example oligo would have a yield of about 298 nanomol. Here's a table showing the multipliers we'd expect in our own labs for different processing options of single-stranded RNA and DNA. Now you have insight into why you might place an oligo order at a 1 micromole synthesis scale, but see a final yield of a lower amount. If you ever want guidance on how much yield you could expect from different synthesis scales, contact our technical support team. They'll be happy to help. 